a very good morning students this is mrs kalpana dore and i'll be taking your english language so before we start with the class let me introduce you with the books this is english new trends in english grammar and composition the very first chapter in your english language book is the sentence now look at these words given below one india t20 cricket cup world now these are a group of words do they convey any meaning no the same group of words when we rearrange them they make complete sense like india won t20 cricket world cup they convey a complete sense one more example i would like to give you all blessings mothers god are the of the group of words here they do not convey any meaning the same group of words when we rearrange them like mothers are the blessings of god they make a complete sense now what is a sentence a group of words which makes complete sense once again i'll repeat a group of words which makes a complete sense now basically sentence has got three main characteristics they are as follows number 1 it express a complete thought or an idea like your example india won t20 cricket world cup now through this these group of words they form a complete sense and they tell us that india won t20 cricket world cup so any sentence formed or framed they will express a complete thought or an idea the second now the second character states is it must have a subject and a predicate i repeat a uh, every sentence must have a subject and a predicate the third character states is the meaning of any sentence is different based on different expression it means if it is an advice or a request or a command the sentences will be based on different expressions kinds of sentences there are four kinds of sentences number 1 assertive sentence number 2 interrogative sentence number 3 imperative sentence and number 4 exclamatory sentence the first one assertive sentence they state and declare something example india is in asia now the country india falls in the continent asia number 2 she can never cheat anybody the subject she is telling that she can cheat any she can never cheat anybody a sentence or an assertive sentence remember always end with a full stop the second one is interrogative sentence interrogative sentence always ask a question and they end with a question mark example who is that old lady second one what is your pet's name now you who what where when all these are words which frame questions every interrogative sentence will end with a question mark now the third type of sentences imperative sentence these sentences they request give a command or an advice example avoid fast food now in this sentence it is an advice given to avoid fast food the second one is please get me a glass of water here a request is made to get a glass of water number 3 take off your shoes an order is given here to take off your shoes the fourth type of sentence is exclamatory sentence 
exclamatory sentences convey a strong and a sudden feeling example what a beautiful dress hurra india has won the hockey series all the sentences or exclamatory sentences will end with an exclamation mark now you have in your book refer your book to page number 6 after the types of sentences we have got exercise 1 and exercise 2 please attempt these exercises and later we'll discuss them with this we come to the end of the session thank you so much children